So, today sucked, and we're here to tell you all about it. I'm Tris Leader. And I'm Forest Leader. And we're talking life, health, and sanity in post-pandemic suburbia. Sanity that that uh, cat is not super conducive to us keeping a hold of at this point. <sighs> Seriously, did we wait for 30 seconds at the beginning of this to have him shut up? Not quite. 24 seconds. 24 seconds. Okay, I was six seconds off. Excuse me. You're excused. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry. We have a new we have a new recording set up, y'all, and we're not used to it yet. I keep bumping things with my knee. It's real weird, but I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. So, Forrest. Yes, why did, Tris? Why did today suck? Today sucked. You know why today sucked? Why? Today sucked because I thought today was going to be one of those days where, like, I had a lot of time to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I had planned to get things done today because I knew I was going to have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I was going to have a lot of time to think about work stuff and do some planning and all that kind of jazz. And I had, I had a lot of time. I was going to get stuff done with setting up our new recording area. And, like, uh, all these things. Like, I knew I was going to have a ton of time. Right. And then I did not have a ton of time. Right. It was like everything kept going one thing after the other over and over and over again. Mm hmm I got a little bit, like, punch drunk. Right. From the, like, just the whiplash of, like, thing after thing hitting me right yeah it's funny how you go oh look at this day it's relatively wide open look at all the stuff i can get done and things always seem to sort of expand you know like that like <laughs> Like that foam insulation stuff that they spray in and it expands to 16,000 times its original size and takes up all the space. It takes up all the space that's there. And so no matter what, you're never left with any space. Things always expand and expand and expand and it take more time. Yeah. What's up with that? What is up with that? <laughs> I'd like to blame it on your, um, how to put this? Still developing time management skills. <laughs> I feel like that was code for my ADD. <laughs> no, no, that was code for your relatively poor time management skills that uh, have that gotten was... that have gotten a lot better over the years. I want to add. That's fair. They have gotten a lot better, but they're still like comparatively really bad. Yeah, and I'd like to think that I'm better, and sometimes I am. I have a different a different brain. I have a different brain than you. And um, what are you're pointing at me like I'm supposed <sighs> to know the sign language? I pointed at the dial. I wanted you to turn the gain down. It is down. It's all the way down. So oh. you better turn it down in the program. I guess that's my job. Well, the computer's in front of you, so yes. <laughs> Welcome to today's Today Sucked ASMR. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did I do to deserve uh, this? So many things. Um I was saying words. I I forgot already. Yep, I do too. It was it, was it about how I suck? I'm a terrible time manager. Oh, no, I was about to talk about how I suck at time management because I'd like to think that I'm better at it than you because I have a different brain. It works differently. I, I don't have the the ADD that, that you do. But, um, but I, I suck in different ways. 
you're not terrible at time management. It's that you just, you have the, the issue of energy. It's like you have the ability to manage the time when you have the energy to put into the time. Right. right. But you're so tired in the stuff that you, like, it. it's like you can manage it. But then, but you don't have the, the like physical capability to, to force the time to do what you know it's supposed <laughs> to do. do. Uh-huh. Well, that's why I spend a lot of, of effort, um, working with you on that sort of thing because I, you're relatively intelligent and you're, you can, you change, you have changed a lot of things over our time together and, um, What's more, because you love me, you want to, which is really cool. And uh, somehow, I'm hoping that you love me enough to change our health habits. I'm trying, but you know, <laughs> you still have to do some of it. I know I do, and so I'm also hoping that I love you enough to change our health habits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it was. Um, there were so uh, there was a lot of stuff that was tough in there. One thing that was terrible was like yesterday. I did my um, what's that word? Food logging. Yeah. Because that was my commitment yep. that I made. I'm going to do my food logging every day. You did that yesterday. You did that today. No, I finished it today. <laughs> you finished yesterday's today and didn't do any of today's today. No, I did today's today. You did today's today? But I didn't finish dinner yet. Well, it's okay. It's only 1040 at night. You still have time. I, yes. You have you're... an hour and 20 minutes. Math is hard at night. The question, though, is how many calories are in a bottle of wine? The entire bottle of yeah. wine. To be fair, that is um, for everybody worried about our alcoholic status out there. That is since like five o'clock. So I yeah, I was committed. You were committed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, the. The thing that I'm, I mean, though, about that, though, is that there's a lot of those in there. Though that, though that, though, though, though. It's the okay. thing that was, that that was no good. I'm still trying to think of more words that I can say instead of Just sucked. Just say the words. <laughs> Just say words. The thing that sucked about it was that as I as I finished my food logging for yesterday. I went, wow, that was a thousand, a thousand calories over what I was supposed to have done. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. I mean, I looked at dinner and I went, I, like my, my calories, calorie intake for dinner yesterday was the entire budget for my day. What did we eat for dinner last night? We had hamburgers. Right. Homemade hamburgers. Yeah. And they were really tasty. They but were really good. They are also full of a lot of crap. Yeah, they're what Noom qualifies as a red food. Though mm. I, I will say that in my defense, we did one single slice of whole wheat toast with them. Whole wheat toast. Whole wheat. <laughs> and, um, and we also did... Uh, like we topped it with lettuce, so it was like half of a lettuce bun and half of a regular. And I will uh, absolutely take that sort of win there of shifting, you know, small things in the diet that make a difference. However, the three slices of bread that you saved in whatever fashion that looks like for your food logging. Um, I think was more than taken up by the fact that you had three hamburgers. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I am. I am feeling an excuse coming on. Let's have it. 
I was really hungry. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> That's all I got. That's fair. I um. I mean, you all get it. You get hungry. Hungry happens. <laughs> um. Yeah. I have not logged anything in the last two days. I haven't even opened the app. That's how good I'm doing. But, but Man, you are terrible at Noom. Yes, I am terrible at. But Noom. you're gonna do better tomorrow. Sure, I absolutely yeah. could. I absolutely could do better tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, I will tomorrow. I will open the app and I will log something. Tomorrow. I'm gonna just point out to you at several points in the day tomorrow that you told everyone on the internet that you were gonna do it. Yes, you're right. But here's what I did do yesterday. What did you do yesterday? I made us go to bed. Wait, I thought we were talking about today. Well, but we haven't gone to bed yet today, so I'm talking about going to bed okay, last night. Okay, that's fair. Yes, yesterday we went to bed before one in the morning. Yes, and I made us, I set a timer and I made us stop watching TV and go upstairs. Yeah. I didn't want to. Absolutely. But I made us do it. We did it. And even as I'm saying this, I'm going, great, let's celebrate a little teeny tiny, like, literal mediocrity here, but... That's all I got, man. Like, that's what I have in me. Those are the victories that I have right now. I don't have mar- literal marathon victories in me. That is not how my life goes right now. But the, the little wins is what I've got. Yeah, take the victory where you can get it. Well, yeah, yeah. It's just so hard. And I don't know. I don't know if any of you out there can identify with a brain that hates you. Having your own personal brain that just hates you all the time. And so it's something that I have. It's it's real neat um, that I see the 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 win in we went to bed earlier than I wanted to, and not probably not as early as we should have, but earlier, which was the goal. But my my brain goes, it's so tiny and such a tiny little you know speck drop in the bucket that it it doesn't flip and matter. And I have to tell that part of my brain to sit down and shut up. And I'm bad at that too. But I try. Because it has to matter. That's the thing. Is that the, the those little victories have to matter at least as much as the little failures do. Mm-hmm. So if if going to bed earlier doesn't matter, then going to bed later also shouldn't matter. They have to balance out. They should matter the same amount. Like, okay, well, I failed by not going to bed early enough. That is the same amount as the same sort of weight as I succeeded in going to bed earlier. And they never balance out in my brain. They, they never do. The, the failures are always far more impactful in my head than, than the successes are. And the success... Oh, boy. So, 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 Tristox take two. The successes, um, especially when they're small, are very easy to be sort of written off as, you know, inconsequential. And that's a really discouraging way to go through things. Yeah, it's a tough thing, I think, to, to look at life and always see the negative things as bigger than the positive things Mm -hmm. but i feel like that's what the way that most of us go through life and they say that it takes so many more instances of positive to erase a negative or we remember the negative things Mm -hmm. so much more than the positive things and that's i think part of why like this that we're doing is so important Mm mm-hmm For us, you know, not that it's important to you listening, although, you know, certainly I hope that it is, but eh, whether it is or not, it's important important. for us. I will settle for mildly entertained. That's fine. But yeah, important for us. Absolutely. And and the reason that I think it's important for us is, and I was thinking about this earlier today, that this podcast that we're doing The purpose of it is for us to reflect on the day, 
Yeah. It's for us to reflect in a way introspectively that we can try to improve our lives. Yeah. And yeah, we want to be accountable and stuff. We don't know who's listening out there or if anybody's listening out there. I'm not um, sure we care all that much, but, but it, whoever it is, we love you anyway. Yeah, we're excited to engage with you, you know. Um, but the the reality is that in in our purpose for doing this, for starting this podcast of today sucks, it's to really like dig in for ourselves, dig into who we are, dig into what's important to us, dig into what those things were that got in the way of us being successful so that we can be successful in future days, right? Yeah, well, and and I mean, not to sound too sort of cliche or whatever, but, you know, the first step in dealing with a thing is to admit you have a problem. <laughs> I say as he's about to take a drink of wine. Uh, that could not have been timed better. No, that's not what I mean, though. Um, introspection, thinking through your own motivations, your own thoughts and reflexes and whatever else is, it's a hard thing to do, especially if you're just trying to sort of do it to yourself. When you say so, I've done this many times with you, Forrest can attest to this, that Saying something out loud really brings out the inaccuracies of it. Um, it really brings brings those sort of um, our our uh, diet app calls them thought distortions, I guess, um, of things that are just not fully or at all correct. And when you're just thinking through it to yourself. You don't. You still don't notice that, but when you have to say it out loud, you go, "Yeah, that's ridiculous." Yeah, I can attest to that. Yeah. When you say it to me, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It it sounds ridiculous <laughs> when I say my things to you. Mm-hmm. We had that the other night where yeah. I was saying something, and I just i I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Because like I couldn't bring myself to say it because it was so dumb and it was a serious conversation like it was a serious it was important it was a like a, a very um important moment of sort of self-discovery self-realization for you i think and yeah yeah you could it took you several minutes to be able to actually spit it out at me even though i knew exactly what you were gonna say of course you did but that didn't matter you needed to say it because it's so ridiculous i can't even remember what so it was dumb. but it was so ridiculous so, yeah, that's, I think that's a, a, an eternal struggle for anybody who's trying to have self-improvement in any fashion, is dealing with just your own brain in your own head and your own thoughts in your own head. Yeah, you gotta have somebody that you can talk about it with. Yeah. Because that's the only way that that you can really notice those areas where thing where you're thinking about things yeah. wrong. Yeah. So to kind of wrap things up today. Yeah. Um I think that kind of where we're taken away away from this stuff from our conversation is that reflecting on your behaviors and your motivations for those behaviors is important. Yeah. But it's important, more important, that you're doing it for yourself and not for anybody else. Mm-hmm. What's your takeaway, Tris? My takeaway. Open my app. <laughs> Open your app. No, no. My takeaway is celebrate the small. Because if you don't celebrate the small, then even the big will look small. Mm, that's good. So I will celebrate the fact that we went to bed earlier last night. Yeah. Because that's all I got. That is that is my best. That was my best last night. And that was my best for today. And my best is best. It's your best. 
Yeah. It's the best you can do, then it's the best you can do. Yeah. And as much as we joke about how much we suck, I don't actually think you suck, and I don't actually think I suck. And so if I'm giving my best and you're giving your best, then that best can't be that bad. Well, and wherever it is, it's just where we are. Yeah. And just like in any kind of workout kind of thing, you know, you get stronger by doing it. Yeah. And we're doing this, so we're yeah. going to get stronger because we're doing it. Yeah. I like it. So... We are so glad to um, just be on here with you. And for anyone who's listening, thank you. Um, Please tell your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, Get on and and follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'm Forest Leader. You can find me at Fearless Leader, L-E-D-E-R, on Twitter. And you can find Tris. At Tris underscore Joy. You know, when you give that pitch, though, it sounds like you actually really do want people to listen to all of the it's crap weird. coming out of our mouths. <laughs> I know. I know. But I feel like what we're doing is important. And yeah, I, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. No, say what you're I saying. say it's important and I follow that immediately by saying <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Twitter. At Fearless Leader. At Tris underscore Joy. And see you next time, suckers! (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs)